Mark Rogers TV and SEC Breakdown going to the SEC, of course, at Alabama, where the tide appears to be set for another championship run to Atlanta. We bring in Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama to size up the first four games and uh, this date coming up Saturday night against uh, Kentucky with uh, the Wildcats coming to Tuscaloosa. Stephen M., how are you? Doing well, Mark. Uh, can't complain here. The first four games, uh, Nick Saban wanting more consistency that against Kent State and Coach Saban cracking a smile, which that rarely ever happens. You don't really see Coach Saban smiling much or handing out compliments, if you will. He uh, did both, the uh, win over Kent State, and you saw Alabama's offensive line start the jail and these uh, true freshman running back Joshua Jacobs had a big game, 97 yards rushing, two touchdowns on 11 carries. Or Damian Harris, cool sprain, and then also Bo Scarborough, who had a thigh bruise in the game. Uh, Cameron Sims, who got the start in place of Ardarius Stewart, Cam Sims, four catches for 54 yards. And even O.J. Howard was featured. Uh, three catches for 60 yards and a touchdown. Also had a great day blocking, setting the edge for 285 rushing yards and two scores off of 42 carries. So uh, Nick Saban very much so happy with the complete performance of a unit. When you talk about consistency against Kent State, you know, versus USC where Alabama had the slow start against Western Kentucky where – Alabama didn't quite finish the way it wanted to. And then, of course, Ole Miss uh, being down 24-3 to despite the epic comeback and getting the win. Uh, Saban more so happy with the consistency the entire Kent State game. Well, it's typically not a luxury playing an SEC opponent uh, that you get to work out some more kinks and work on some – facets of the game for down the road and tougher opponents but the way the wildcats are playing to date it appears as though nick saban and crew is going to have another opportunity to work on the offense the defense the fundamentals um work on a specific aspects of the offensive game planning in particular to get ready for the stretch that you know better than anyone it becomes brutal out of nowhere with Arkansas, Tennessee, Texas A&M, LSU, Mississippi State on down the line. Wow, it, it gets really rough, rugged there in the SEC Western Division, but another opportunity probably to work out some things. Definitely work out some things and uh, not to be jagged by the homecoming hype. This is homecoming week for the Crimson Tide. Of course, the parade is set to be scheduled at 1 p.m., so – a lot of marching up and down Tuscaloosa, a lot of uh, festivities. But Alabama, Coach Saban more so, as he always is, focused on the game, focused on doing or as the players is, are concerned and the coaching staff is concerned. But Kentucky does bring in a potent run game. Uh, Stanley, Boom, Stanley Boom Williams and JoJo Kemp are not slouches. These are two men that can run the football with the best of the SEC. Uh, Steven Johnson at quarterback has done pretty well, uh, passing for over 400 yards, three touchdowns to only one interception. Going back to Boom Williams, 16 yards per game, Mark Stoops has done a great job recruiting. It's, it's been putting everything together that he's had issues with. Uh, he's not had a problem with bringing in these top 20 and top 25 recruiting classes it's all about getting those classes to gel and, and finding ways to consistently win that has hurt Stoop. So Alabama, it starts off with establishing the run game, but also getting that pressure defensively. And he has a guy by the name of uh, Denzel, uh, Denzel Walker here, who is a defensive lineman. I, I, I'm not sure I pronounced that, that last name. I know the first name is Denzel. But he's got three sacks on the season. He's got, he's got about five tackles for loss, 17 total tackles. He's a guy that's a pure, pure pass rusher. Kentucky's secondary right now, six interceptions on the year, including a couple of seniors 
to have two each. So Kentucky's got some pieces. 17 to 10 win over South Carolina. Now, South Carolina's offense is not the best offense in college football. It's got the hype train in Will Muschamp and a guy that's going to, by all means, put everything he can with Kurt Roper as the offensive coordinator into play. But Kentucky's defense, Kentucky as a team, movements, Mark. You, you see where Mark Stoops wants to put something together. He wants to have everything come into fold. It's just the idea of really the consistency of week by week challenging opponents. That's where Stoops is trying to improve it. Stephen, you definitely sensed my next question because Kentucky has brought in under Mark Stoops top 25 recruiting classes back-to-back -back years. Uh, he's done an exceptional job going north of Kentucky while everybody else is focused south. He's gone into Ohio and stolen some recruits and, and from West Virginia as well. Uh, the Wildcats have looked horrid on defense. They got healthy against South Carolina. They're obviously having issues with Brandon McIlwain and uh, some talent issues uh, on the offensive side of the ball. So I'm surprised that Kentucky hasn't uh, become a better football team. I was expecting this team over the last two seasons to vie for bowl eligibility, and they haven't been able to get over that hump. Uh, you mentioned Steven Johnson uh, pressed into action due to the injury of Drew Barker. Uh, had a really good game against New Mexico State, a, a game that it's incredible to think Kentucky could have lost that game. It was a very close game until the fourth quarter. Uh, Johnson threw for 310 yards, acquitted himself 11 of 19. Nice game against South Carolina, but I expected more out of the Wildcats. But uh, this program, I would think, is, is at the crossroads in Mark Stoops' career there in Lexington, somewhat at the crossroads. Crossroads in a sense of year three, year four, year five in a program really starts to desire, where are we? Where are we trying to go? What's our identity? What are we trying to do? Your first two years, the fans, the, the uh, athletic department understands you're building, you're trying to get players to buy into your system, your mantra, your style. But by that third, fourth, and fifth year mark, as you more than I do, it's about right now. What is the goal for this team right now? What's the identity? How are we getting towards a bowl game? How are we getting towards, you know, really more so competing against some of these upper echelon teams that are crowned as the cream of the crop in the Southeastern Conference and let alone the country? Uh, uh, as I mentioned, Kentucky's got talent. The defensive lineman I was trying to mention being Denzel Ware, guys like that, they, they, they've got the talent. They've got the players that have the potential. But it's one thing to have the potential. It's one thing. It's another thing to consistently see it grow and put it in places to be successful. Going back to, you know, LSU with less Miles in that situation. It's great to recruit. It's great to be a man of character and a man of integrity and, and, and an ambassador for a city and a program as Ness Miles was, but the fine print beneath the fine print that sometimes we don't like to read, Mark, is when you're a coach at a program, beyond all is to win. Your job beyond all is to win and win consistently and give other teams the essence that you are a threat that then here comes the big boys the the ad's the the booster clubs the fans the presidents the chancellors that come in and they have to lay the hammer down and sometimes when they lay the hammer down it's not a good feeling because that hammer means you're getting pink slipped you're getting fired we're looking elsewhere and you're out of a job so that's where mark stoops is at this point is trying to figure out where are we where the bluegrass state is concerned and uh, concerns with trying to consistently compete funnel all of the talent onto the field to be something of value that's where mark stoops is is trying to cash in or how do i cash in on this investment 
in winning at Kentucky versus winning at LSU and the expectations and the standards much different. Uh, seven or eight wins at Kentucky in the interim would be fine for that fan base getting to postseason play uh, finally after a number of years. When you talk identity and then building a program for Mark Stoops, that's always been defense. And Kentucky's been shredded on defense up until this South Carolina effort. We, we mentioned the lack of talent and consist consistency on the Gamecocks offense having much to do with that, but maybe the Wildcats can build off that performance. Four sacks, Denzel Ware getting the key sack uh, to prevent a Gamecock score late in the ball game, and uh, Kentucky gets a much-needed SEC victory in that one. The next one will be much more difficult to get as they travel to Tuscaloosa this Saturday night. So it's Kentucky, it's Alabama on Saturday night. Uh, Stephen M. Smith from Touchdown Alabama. Also, I believe you've got a new podcast uh, uh, on the streets for us now, the way it is, right, Stephen? Definitely got the new podcast. I actually got the podcast mic and the pop filter today. So we're going to be starting to crank that out. You can definitely catch that on Bama Sports Radio, on, uh, on SoundCloud. Just check all of your social medias. We will be flooding your social media. <laughs> Sounds great, Stephen. Appreciate the breakdown. We are going to catch your opinion here in just a second on a different record concerning the Les Miles situation at LSU. Thank you, sir. Can't wait, Mark. And as all, can't wait, Mark. And as always, man, thank you.